This is chapter view number 17. So in number 17, we're asked to solve for x. So the first step would be to isolate one of the two radicals. If we look at the right-hand side, the square root of 3x plus 2 has already been isolated. So we don't have to do anything there, so I'm just going to go about squaring both sides. So the right-hand side is easy. The square just cancels the square root. The left-hand side, though, we have to FOIL out. So if I multiply the first together, I get square root 2x plus 5 squared. And then 2x plus 5 times 1 is just 2x plus 5. And then 1 times 2x plus 5 is just 2x plus 5. And 1 times 1 is 1. Now, the squared cancels the square root here. So we have 2x plus 5. And then square root 2x plus 5 plus square root 2x plus 5 is 2 square root 2x plus 5s. And then I still have the plus 1. I'm going to add the plus 1, or actually I'm just going to move everything on to the other side now. So I'm going to subtract the 5, I'm going to subtract the 1, I'm going to subtract the 2x, and that's going to give me x uh, minus 4. And we have to divide both sides by 2 here, because again, we're working on isolating the other radical now. Since we've eliminated one radical, we have to isolate to eliminate the other radical. So it's going to be 2x plus 5 equals x over 2 minus 2. And actually, I think I'm going to leave that as x minus 4 over 2 this way. It'll be a little bit easier to FOIL it, I think, because the next step is I'm going to square both sides. So the squared cancels the square root. I FOIL out the x squared minus 4. And then I square the 2 on the bottom. And then I'm just going to multiply both sides by 4. Oops. To clear the fraction there. And what I'm left with is a quadratic. So I'm going to subtract 8x from both sides and subtract 20 from both sides. And then it's quadratic formula time. It's going to be 16 plus or minus the square root of 16 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 over 2 times 1. So if I type that into my calculator, 16 squared plus 16 is 272. And I'm just going to simplify the square root of 272 here quickly in my head, which is 4 square root 17. And then if I reduce here, I get 8 plus or minus 2 square root 17. But I'm not done. I still have to go back and check. So I have to plug in 8 plus the square root of 7, or 2 times the square root of 17 in for x to both sides. And the same thing with the minus. I'm just going to do that on my calculator here and actually show that for you guys. So 2 times 8 plus 2 square root 17. plus 5, and then plus 1 on the outside, oops, plus 1. So that's one of the answers plugged into the left-hand side. Gives me this decimal. Now I'm going to do the same thing plugging into the right-hand side. I have 3 times 8 plus 2 square root 17. 
plus 2. And that gives me the same answer, so that when we're adding, that works. Let's go back and see uh, if we had done the subtraction. So I press second and enter to recall these previous things that I typed in. You could also go back and just like move your cursor and highlight it and press enter. So I'm just going to change that to a minus sign. That gives me this answer. And I'm going to change this one to a minus sign. And there we see that they don't agree, so that answer is extraneous. So we just have one answer, x plus 2 root 17.